Peace be with you, my dear sisters and brothers. We are in the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. Decisions. Decisions. Our lives are filled with decisions. Each day we decide when to get out of bed, what to wear, what to eat, where we go, when to leave, how to get there and host of other decisions. Some decisions affect our lives more than others. A decision to spend $15 or $20 on a meal is far different from spending thousands of dollars on a house or automobile. A decision to take an aspirin for a headache is far different from undergoing major surgery. Some decisions are greater than others because some have more of an effect on outcome of the future. This weekend, God's word speaks to us about some major decisions that not only affects our life on this earth, but our eternal future. In our Old Testament reading, Joshua, the leader after Moses died, called upon the children of Israel to make a choice. Choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Joshua has made a choice for Yahweh. Joshua clearly laid out that there were only two choices. Either continue serving their sinful nature and the false god of their day or Yahweh who brought them out of Egypt, the slavery, led them through desert, fed them through uh, with manna and water. They have to make a choice. But Joshua is very clear. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. So make a decision, my dear sisters and brothers, for God. Make a decision for God. The same way St. Paul is encouraging the Ephesians to make a choice. To live as children of light or darkness. To be wise or unwise. To be will to be filled with the Spirit of God or with evil. Make a choice. Choice is yours. And in our Gospel reading, the final verse in John's Gospel 6, we are presented again with the only two choices concerning our spiritual lives. Either Jesus' way or sinful way. This week we continue reading, Jesus declares, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh which I will give for the life of the world. Then the Jews began to argue sharply among themselves, how can this man give us his life, flesh to eat? The confusion and offense at, at uh, uh, Jesus continued. This is not a matter of understanding but uh, of accepting. They understood clearly what Jesus was saying. But they heard it as scandalous words. Sounds like cannibalism. Eating flesh, drinking blood. Jesus says it six times in seven verses. Certainly not kosher, definitely offensive to the natural man. These words are, these words from a mere man would be shocking and disgusting. But the point is that these words are not from a mere man. These are words of Jesus. These are words of the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of God. On hearing it, many of his disciples said this is a hard teaching. 
who can accept it from this time many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed jesus you do not want to leave too do you jesus asked the 12 simon peter answered him lord to whom shall we go you have the words of eternal life we have come to believe and to know that you are the holy one of god jesus disciple were right this is a hard teaching not hard to understand it is very clear what jesus is saying but hard to accept hard to make a choice to belong to jesus and jesus responds to their complain is just as hard jesus gives these people the shocking treatment shock treatment to chop them away from the mere materialism of this life they were still only thinking of the bread and fish he had provided in abundance for the 5000 just the day before they had come seeking out jesus for another free meal but jesus came to feed them and us with the living bread from heaven if anyone eats of this bread he will live forever on our own we can never choose to accept this hard teaching of jesus and there is no way explaining way the scandal of jesus word jesus message is out of this world it is a spirit filled and life giving word apart from his word there is no salvation apart from believing him and in him and there is no salvation therefore we rejoice in the same confession peter speaks on behalf of all the disciples of jesus lord to whom shall we go you have the words of eternal life we have come to believe and to know that you are the holy one of god through god's gift to us of saving faith through baptism his word and the lord's supper these are not hard saying for us neither hard to understand nor hard to accept rather these are our confession our statement of faith that god would affect every decision we make my dear sisters and brothers we believe it because jesus says it we boldly teach it to our children in our homes through our church and catholic schools with joshua we proclaim as for me and my house as for me and my church as for me and my school we will serve the lord jesus is the living bread for us we are daily fed by his word and the sacrament regularly regularly is inviting us to feed us with his word and the sacrament regularly he feeds us through his body and blood regularly he is helping us to understand this great mystery so my dear sisters and brothers let us make our choice for christ who lives in the eucharist let us make our choice to celebrate the eucharist at least once a week let us make our choice to confess our sins and receive communion in the eucharist let us make choice to adore the lord in the blessed sacrament at least one hour let us make our choice to accept the hard teachings of jesus and face ridicule criticism and even social isolation for our adherence to sound christian principles in our lives let us make our choice for christ and say amen when the priest gives us holy communion saying the body of christ we respond amen and that yes 
Amen is not just an act of faith in the real presence of Jesus Christ. It is a total commitment to build the body of Christ which is broken in our community of which we are members. We say Amen to accept Jesus totally without any conditions or reservation. To accept his thoughts, attitudes, values, vision, mission, ministry and life view. And allow Jesus to govern and shape our lives. My dear sisters and brothers, above all, let us make our choice to identify with Jesus in his self-gift of God's love for us, his incarnation, his crucifixion, his death, his resurrection, and be sealed with the new covenant with all mankind in his blood, a self-gift of love extend to us in the Eucharist with Jesus' body and blood becoming our spiritual food and drink. Like those Joshua and the people of Israel renewed the covenant, let us renew our covenant in the Eucharist. We pray, Lord God, I want to be among those who know the mystery of the Eucharist. Christ in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Draw me closer and closer to the Eucharist and reveal to me the treasures of the Eucharist to know it, to live it and to proclaim it to all in the world. Amen.